Hi, welcome to my video on the mandala of A Touch of Stars. It's been a while since I've uh, done a video, so I thought I would do something that was relatively quick uh, to draw. This only took me just over, I think, an hour and a half to do overall, um, including coloring. Uh, I decided to play with some new techniques that I've been uh, learning over the last couple months um, using my compass and a lot of the sacred geometry type uh, drawing. Um, I still feel like I've only scratched the surface with this. Um, and this one here, this really quick drawing, uh, I've only just used a couple of techniques. And uh, it's actually been really interesting because I've barely used my ruler. I uh, mostly use the compass to do all these uh, drawings uh, and all the circles and the details and all this. And it's very interesting because it just, it it's amazing what the compass can do and how accurate the drawing ends up being despite the fact that I've only used the ruler just to draw the straight lines no measuring uh, except for I think one place in this drawing I did measure to find the middle of the circle but other than that I it was all based it was all done with the compass uh, I did look up how to do uh, the star because I was curious how, uh, there had to be a, a really accurate way to draw a perfect star a five-point star so I looked it up and um, there's a couple really good videos out there on how to do it. And uh, I decided to apply it to a mandala and drew the center uh, star first and then decided, well, what if I put in some more circles and I could put a couple more stars um, and outer rings. And before I knew it, it became this uh, five uh, outer stars and then one big inner star. Uh, and then uh, once I had uh, finished putting in all the the sketching and the details, um, I inked it in. And you'll see that I actually did this freehand. Uh, I didn't use my compass, because I can put my uh, pen in my compass. Um, but this time I decided just to do it with freehand. Um, the lines end up being a little bit more organic. There's some imperfections in them. They're a little wavy and not anything that's uh, going to bother me in the long run because you'll see um, after I do the initial inking I actually go back over again uh, with thicker lines and it tends just to smooth out all those imperfections uh, but this time I just decided not to use my compass um, sometimes I do because the lines I, I just want to be very perfect and crisp and freehanding a curve is not easy you'll notice that the paper just tends to get thrown around because I'm just trying to do the smooth curve and I have to have my wrist just right to be able to do so. Uh, so when it came down to choosing colors, it, I actually ended up choosing these five colors because that's all I have in that particular pen. Uh, they all work very beautifully together because that's when I bought them I just sat there and said well what colors look good together and that's what I, I came up with. Um, and I loved the fact that there was five colors so I could use them for the five outer circles. And uh, I just went from there and I decided to keep it relatively simple with the coloring. Uh, I really could have thrown a lot of details into this. Uh, I could have put in some patterns and used more colors or I could have done it in pencil crayon. And the thing about that is that it then makes this quick drawing a lengthy process. Uh, and it, it just doesn't end up to be a quick job. So I decided to go with markers this time and just keep it relatively quick. Uh, it was very... Uh, calming to draw something this quick, to be able to sit down in one sitting, uh, put something like this together uh, and have a finished product when I was done. So it was, uh, it was very nice to be able to do this for you guys. Uh, I'm going to put up uh, an instructional video on how I put together the, the stars and the five circles with the smaller stars inside so you guys can sit down and try to do it yourself. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video, and I look forward to putting many more videos out for you this year. Bye.